Okay, hello guys, welcome to Hill Studios back again and I'm doing a voiceover because my voice didn't get recorded. So this is a multiplayer series where I'll be developing a team deathmatch kind of mode you using Unreal Engine built-in multiplayer system and we'll be deploying this on Android and also you will be having a simple main menu with host and join where your player your friends can connect to your Wi-Fi and they can join the session where you can host a session like mini militia and most likely like uh, what I expect from this tutorial is like you guys joining the discord channel and also helping me out on my game giving feedback and all and I'll also uh, help you if you have any doubts in multiplayer stuff so in order to get started go to a, wherever your Unreal Engine source is and go to that go to engine go to binaries and go to win64 if you are using Windows 64 bit and go to UE4 editor and then open that editor and once editor is open you have to create a new project so if you really like this tutorial series join the discord channel link will be in description and I'll also like if you know like I'm also developing a game called mercenaries unleashed so it would be helpful if you join the server and give me feedback on my game and also participate in alpha testing kind of so once the project open go to games and click on next and choose any template i'm choosing third person template and next choose blueprints scalable 2d or 3d ray tracing disabled and go to mobile and create any project name you want it doesn't matter and once the project is opened i will meet you then okay the project is open now so this is the unreal engine editor and uh, one thing that you guys can do for low-end laptops is like uh, go to settings and once you go to settings uh, you can find engine scalability settings and keep that low engine scalability settings and keep that low and also press tilde key tilde key is like below escape key and click on the tilde key and type t dot max fps space 20 so it will help you to reduce the frame rate to 20 frames per second which will help in like decreasing cpu like processing and it will help your computer to do good stuff like it doesn't sound too much not too many fans or something like that so once you complete this stuff now we are ready to go let's get started and go to content folder and click on right click and click on new folder and add maps i hope you guys know how to use base unreal engine basics so i'm not telling everything so first of all uh, we need a new level because this is a third person level so we will create main menu right now so go to any level i'm going to choose the default level and uh, now go to new again and save current is and save the present map and save the current map as main menu map and let us see okay now go to project settings and what happens is that whenever we are going to the main menu map main menu map should be our default map when you open the game so go to project maps and modes and in game default mode game default map set this map as game default map and if you play you can see that we are we are finding third person character but we want another game mode right we don't want third person character game mode so why it is happening is because in project security project settings there is an option called default game mode so if there is no game mode then default game mode will take its place so i'm just showing you how to get wall settings click on windows and you can get wall settings from there so what we need to do right now is like create a game mode and what is a game mode game mode is like you can think of it like as a parent class of all of the other scripts that way that we need to run so game mode contains so many classes like a pawn class player controller for any level game mode is must and should so what we're going to do is i'm going to create a new folder called blueprints and inside that blueprints folder i'm going to create another folder called main menu and inside that main menu i'm creating new new two folders ui and next one is game mode stuff and inside the game mode stuff i'm going to create game mode class and that is a game mode so game mode really helps us in specifying like uh, what player controller we use what pawns we possess so so you just need to set that game mode at that particular position in wall settings 
and then if you observe the default pawn class has default pawn so pawn is something that is controlled by the player actor is something that is not controlled by the player but it has some scripts that you can attach each to so if you look at default pawn there we don't need any pawn right in main menu we do not control anything so we don't need any pawn so we have to keep it none but we cannot remove player controller player controller is like a brain child of the entire game got it player controller is like a brain of the entire level so if you need to run any scripts if you need to display any ui you should do it in player controller so i'm disabling the default pawn class and i'm going to create a player controller class which displays our required ui so yeah that so an if i if i revise it again there are different types of classes in unreal engine an actor is something that has scripts as well but we do not control it like it say let's say in pubg mobile we have door we cannot control the door if you look at in pubg mobile same we have vehicles characters these are the subclasses of actor which are called pawn class and players can control them so there is a difference between pawns and actors so let us create a player controller as i say player controller is something that controls every pawn that we have like which pawn do i control that is what player controller so that's why we say player controller as brainchild if you hit play now we are pointing in some random direction because there is no camera that we are posing right if you possess a ca character the ca if the character has camera then we can do that since we are not posing any pawn uh, it is some pointing in some random direction so i just dropped a camera actor in the level and if you go to that camera actor in details panel there is an option called auto activate for player and enable it for player zero so what happens is that when we hit play this camera will get activate and we are seeing through the lens of this camera so yeah go to that camera and let us see go to details and we can search for auto activate See auto activate for player. And uh, we're just going to enable it for player zero. That's it. And if you hit play now, you are, we are seeing through the lens of the camera. So that's how it works. So whenever a level loads, we're going to execute game game mode. And game mode doesn't have any pawn. So it is pointing in some random direction. But we drop a camera and we set auto activate. So whenever we level loads, we are seeing what the camera says. Like we are viewing the viewport in terms of lens of the camera. So that's how it works. And the player control still runs in the background, guys. But player control doesn't have any kind of visual components. Since it's brain, right? So we set that up. And what I'm going to do next. Okay. We are playing it. I think I'm going to go for UI next. So we'll see how UI works. So now I went to UI and uh, went to user interface and created a widget blueprint called the main menu UI. And this, this part is going to be simple if you know basics Unreal Engine. So what I did is I just added two buttons. I just imported two buttons and uh, setting up the anchors in order to so that uh, the buttons will be at the same position, whatever resolution you have. And uh, setting up this button as well. Yeah, we are setting up two buttons and then we have two text. First text we will have host and second text we are going to have join. Two buttons. So if I hit play, the UI is not getting displayed because we are not adding it to people. So we will go to brain that is player controller. And we have two kinds of scripts. First one is event tick which runs every frame. What is event begin play? Even begin play is like a function which executes at the starting of the frame. It's like... I don't know whether it's equal to that or not, but if you use object oriented programming, we have constructor for every class. So it's like a constructor. So go to create UI widget and add the main menu and add it to viewport. So it is completed. Begin play widget and go to the, we don't have the construction script. We don't use that. We use view and begin play. So by using this even begin play, we are creating this widget and we are adding it to viewport. And event tick is something that runs on every frame, as you guys know it. So, yep, and save it up. Uh, if you look at the left side, we have functions which you can override. We have macros, variables, event dispatchers. These are components on the, on the right side. You can see the settings related to those components. So if I hit play, I can see, but my mouse is disappearing because we are not setting up touch for Android. So let us hit the touch. Go to player controller and set show mouse cursor equal to and go to project settings. 
and inside that go to input and go to bottom and show mouse for touch enable it and also and also go to mobile and and enable the always show touch interface and once you enable that the game is ready to test for like touch screens and all of stuff so and yeah we have two buttons and touchpad is also working and we have host join but we didn't attach any scripts for that let us attach some simple scripts for host and join so let us see i'm just okay go to click on any button and on right side go to bottom you will find on click click on that and you will have a function and i'm just adding some comment comments are extremely important you can add comments by dragging something and pressing c and print string inside print string you can print like on join and uh, and add another comment something like on click join button and the first one is host and this one is join and print something like joined something like that on click join yeah that is going to be fine so if you hit play now you can see there are something printing i feel like the host button is too much on the screen so i'm just going to adjust its anchors and i'm just going to move it somewhat down this one is really uh, like seeing voice over on top of it is extremely great to be honest so when i hit play now the host and join button is enough now in the next episode i'm going to create sessions join sessions and we're i think we won't we're also going to add a character at the middle because the main menu looks pretty much empty and that's it guys and if you have any doubts post in the comment section and don't forget to join our discord channel where you can ask me if you have any doubts and also you can give feedback for my game as well subscribe to the youtube channel guys bye